Some are calling them the genocide games. Ratings at the 2022 Olympics are abysmal. But how was the Chinese Communist Party given the privilege of hosting one of the world's most prestigious events with little opposition from the international community? Since 1950, more than 65 million Chinese people have been killed for political reasons, according to the Black Book of Communism. And as the Olympics play on, the Chinese Communist Party continues getting away with sports washing, using the games to distract from the reality of egregious human rights violations. I'm David Fiorazzo, and this is Christ and Culture. Co-chair of Women's Rights Without Frontiers, Reggie Littlejohn is one of many urging viewers to boycott these Olympic Games for reasons that should be obvious. She said the Chinese Communist Party is a murderous totalitarian regime, arguably the worst human rights violator in the world. Forced abortion, forced sterilization, forced organ harvesting, forced labor, religious persecution, genocide, crushing Tibet. Hong Kong and Southern Mongolia, infecting the world with the coronavirus. What human right have they not violated? Shame on the International Olympic Committee, IOC, and shame on NBC for their complicit cover-up of evil. They deserve the awful ratings, by the way, down 43.8% this year, according to reports. But kudos, this is interesting, to sports analyst Mike Tirico for opening the 2022 Olympic broadcast, commenting on the CCP's human rights record and the fact COVID started in China. Uh-oh. Did Tirico go rogue? Not surprisingly, though. NBC sent him back to the U.S. Monday, apparently Monday night, even though he was scheduled to be in Beijing until Friday. Here's an excerpt of his comments. Watch. Everything and everyone attached to these games is facing questions. The hosts, the guests, the IOC, the sponsors, media, and athletes. The United States government is not here. A diplomatic boycott announced this fall, joined by Canada, Great Britain, and Australia, citing China's human rights record and the U.S. government's declaration that the Chinese Communist Party is guilty of committing genocide on the Uyghur Muslim population in western Xinjiang region. Wow. Well, unfortunately, I doubt that many people care about diplomatic boycotts when it comes to entertainment. The show must go on, right? Open Doors, though, is a non-denominational mission supporting persecuted Christians in the world. They're similar to Voice of the Martyrs. They work with local partners to distribute Bibles and Christian literature, give discipleship training, and provide emergency relief aid. They are calling on every Christian in the nation to join this boycott of the Olympics in the name of our persecuted brothers and sisters. On its website, they list four main reasons they're calling for a boycott of these games. Number one, squelching dissent. That means squelching anything outside of what China interprets to be in the best interests of the nation, including Christianity. It is illegal for anyone under the age of 18 to attend church. Also, youth groups are outlawed. Number two, they're always watching everyone. There are hundreds of millions of surveillance cameras in communist China, the most oppressive and sophisticated system in the world, by the way. Church attendance there is strictly monitored. Number three, shocking human rights violations. It's not just Christian persecution, but other minorities the communists think are a threat to their godless government. One example is the Uyghur population, a mostly Muslim ethnic minority group. Scholars estimate Chinese authorities detained more than one million Uyghurs in re-education camps. And number four, it's a global effort. The Chinese government will be scanning social media, watching global TV ratings, and reading articles on how other countries perceive them. So by boycotting these Olympics, we're showing them that we don't agree with what they're doing. But sadly, when it comes to their profits, corporations sponsoring the Olympics 
turn a blind eye to the covert cover-up of genocidal concentration camps, China's persecution of Christians, their forced organ harvesting, true story, and their anti-God crushing of all faiths. We're also hearing stories of Olympic athletes complaining about allegedly poor conditions in Beijing, some of them in tears as they describe poor living conditions, dining options, isolating rooms, and debilitating weather conditions. There are also reports of athletes being given small amounts of food or barely edible meals, the odd timing of COVID positive test results, quarantine conditions, and other very questionable protocols. Now, let's get back to something very important here. The Bible reminds believers to remember those who are suffering or being persecuted for Jesus as if we ourselves were the ones suffering. As Christ followers, we are a family of believers. We have brothers and sisters in each and every country around the globe. It's because we're a family where we feel for each other and carry each other's burdens that we urge you to boycott this year's Olympics. Family Research Council's Bob Fu says the world needs to know the truth. He said instead of puff pieces on impressive Chinese architecture or achievements, NBC and other liberal media coverage should ask serious questions about the human rights situation in China and the ability of average Chinese citizens to practice their faith, end quote. Now, the main point in all this is for those of us who care to do something about it. Something we can do is raise awareness, like boycotting these Beijing games. In an article for Jerusalem Post entitled, Genocide Olympics, Winter Games in China is a Stain on Humanity, Emily Schrader writes, quote, who is helping the world turn a blind eye to these abuses? The media, the advertisers, the countries, and the International Olympic Committee all have blood on their hands when it comes to supporting the CCP for these Winter Olympic Games, end quote. Remember those who are suffering, those who the media, world governments, and hypocrites ignore, those who are alone, dying, or persecuted in communist China. And while the best athletes in the world compete in Beijing, pray. Yes, pray, but also help expose the dark history. The fact China is home to some of the world's most vicious, horrific human rights violations and abuses and religious rights violations. Because you certainly won't hear it in uh, or on most so-called news outlets or on the global big tech media conglomerate. So let the people take a stand, raise awareness, and may justice prevail. God bless you and keep speaking the truth about things that matter.